Oh, they're going to work a bank. It's got Wonders World. Um, I think I'll be thinking about doing for a little while, in all honesty. A pointer. Um, I've had my pointer. I've got some notes in front of me that I've made and stuff I want to sort of um, touch upon. So if you see me looking down, it's just because I've made some notes and stuff. Um, which I don't actually usually do. I'm not that prepared normally. So I feel privileged. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the pointer. Um, I got my pointer back in uh, for Christmas uh, 2020, kindly bought to me by the ever lovely Wanda, um, who thought it would be some uh, mentioned about the pointer. I know, um, my good friend Barry would be an idea. He was the first of the YouTube gang to pick one of these machines up. Um, watched his video, thought it looked quite interesting, mentioned it to Wanda. And she picked me one up for Christmas 2020. Well, I think it came with the um, Public House um, IPA, which, so I did an unboxing video, which I'll put up here, um, on Christmas Day or whatever it was, um, outlaying what was in the box, what was involved. So the pointer, for anybody that doesn't know, is a basically a malt extract um, fermentation kit, uh, brewing kit. So you have your malt extract, you put your water in, you, san or you sanitize, blah, 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 blah. Leave it to fer ferment and do its brewing stuff. You attach a brewing dock, take the brewing dock off, um, and 10 days, two weeks later, so it's some nice drinkable beer. The Selling point of the pointer was um, the fresh press packs. I've got one here, still got one, which were designed to fit through your front door so you, you didn't have to be in. Um, this one's the Lockwood Pilsner, obviously, it's never been used. Um, packs at the time were about 12, 13 pounds, I think, something like that. So they were for five litres. I've read bits and pieces online, people think it's quite expensive. The machine was, I think it was £75 at the time, somewhere around there. People don't take my absolute flat, but I think it was around £70, £75. Pounds. Um, uh, brew, um, brewed the, the IPA. Um, I made the mistake at the time that I didn't actually sterilise the, the, the brewing dock. Um, so when the beer came out, so I brewed it on the, the 27th um, and then I did a video, the first taste test. There was a conditioning video. Um, there was a taste test on the 5th of January 2021. And to be fair, I wasn't impressed with the beer. Um, but then I put that down to probably my mistakes of not sanitising the, the, the brewing dock properly and probably other, other few bits and pieces. So I had a, in the meantime, I picked up the American Stars, uh, the Stars of Stripes American IPA, which I was actually quite looking forward to, to be fair. I like an American um, IPA. Did a video on very helpful people that had um, point me, pointed me on things I'd done wrong, things I could do differently, etc., etc. So I took all that on board, um, did a video on... Um, mistakes I'd made and things I was going to do differently like brew longer, condition longer, cold crashing, etc, etc, etc. Um, so I did that and then on the 1st of February did a taste test and wasn't a fan again um, of the beer that had come out of it. Um, so that was sort of two fails within the space of um, the first two brews that I'd done. Uh, in the meantime, I'm hearing whispers of, I know Barry's machine constantly leaked, and other people's leaked, um, handles broke, things were getting stuck, um, the the the, uh, the pouring from the, the tap was slow, so they issued a, fair play to them, they issued free of charge a, uh, a quick flow tap, came through the post, you know, I did ask one, so that came through the post, so, Installed that, did a video on that, um, and then decided I had the uh, and the one I was actually really looking forward to, which was the the the, the dark matter stout. So I brewed the dark matter stout, did a video on brewing the dark matter stout, and sadly, <laughs> this got stuck. 
and because it got stuck, I just got fed up with it and I left it for about a month, month, six weeks, just with it stuck on there because I was annoyed by, at the time that I'd done three brews, two had gone wrong, one part of it was partly my fault, the other one just uh, I didn't get why it didn't come out how it was supposed to, brewed longer, conditioned longer, um, and then obviously with the the brewing dot getting stuck on the dark mass out, I just thought I'd had enough. Enough's enough. So left it. Left the they actually left the dark mass out in there and left it out in the garden. Um, I then put a video, a little short, saying it's stuck because I wanted I wanted to give it another chance. In all honesty, I felt like. I wanted to give the machine another chance. I wanted to pay a lot of money for it. I'd also picked up this um, <coughs> excuse me, Lockwood Pilsner. Let's say it's still sat here doing nothing. Um, and wanted to give it another chance. And so put up a little short to, because um, the brewing docker got stuck and can anybody help me out? Managed to prise it off, got it off. But now the problem I've got is whilst cleaning it, this gasket has come out, I can't get it back in for some reason, it won't go back in properly and I finally gave up on it and just thought from the from the, the, the stuff that I've done on it, it's just more hassle than it's worth and it's sad really, I've got to decorate it quite nicely, so it is a nice ornament now, with Star Wars stuff written all over it. Um, so uh, Mark Jenkins said yes, I best of this is a mini Dalek. It's really sad for me because it had potential. In the meantime, um, late last year, middle, whenever it was, um, the Greater Good Company that are, are making the Pointer released Pointer 2, 2.0, whatever it's called. I looked at it, thought it was a bit expensive. Um, the price of the packs went up, went up as well. And I think at that point, my interest in the pointer itself actually disappeared. Um, I know a lot of people were complaining about the prices of things, um, the price per beer. I mean, I'm, I'm saying that I'm brewing a beer below me. That's going to work out probably more money than an Omni Polo point. Um, so, yeah, um, finally gave up. So, and it's it, it's sad. Uh, it's sad. Um, people seem interested in the pointer. Um, I I was interested in the pointer. Um, does it have a future here? I don't know. Read a lot of stuff online. People complaining about the leak, the, the machine leaking, um, the flimsy quality of the the pressure um, release valve at the back, um, the overall build quality of the machine. Um, Trying not to make this uh, an absolute. Um, hunt of a video because it, all in all and I'm, I'm really sad because I actually wanted to like it I was I was I really I really wanted to like it you can get obviously you can do more extract brewing I've done more extract brewing in, in the past um, this is um, a another way of doing them the fresh the, the fresh press packs are, are supposedly well designed, um, I read all the blurb, um, for me they've always come across as having that very overtly um, homebrew flavour of the two that I've tried. The one I did want to try, um, which I think Raggy's just done, which is the Space Hopper, uh, is it a double, double IPA? Um, I would like to have tried that, but I don't think, obviously with the gasket going, I can't be asked to get hold of the pointer to say, can I have another one? Cause they're gonna charge me for for something. And I just can't be, I can't be asked to be fair. And it's really sad. I've got into more, uh, more grain brewing, um, which I think I like more because I've got more control, more control over what's going in to the, the beer itself. This obviously you're pouring your extract, you're governed by, the extracts that are in there. I know the Pointer 2 has a, is it a hop, hop rocket or something? No, I've not really looked at something where you put the hops in, so there's more involved in that. And fair play that, if that works, then absolutely, absolutely brilliant. And if people have had really good results from it, I know Liam um, from Travel and Brews, 
loves his pointers. The, the, the one that um, I missed out on as well was the dark art, uh, the dark, was it dark matter? Dark matter stout. I would have loved to have had um, um, a go, another go of the dark matter stout. Um, but I just, it, it caused so many problems. It became a running joke when I did a video that something was going to go wrong. Um, Bramall um, Back um, Room Brewing, um, my good friend Rob, he said that, that it might, that the unit might have a, uh, a purpose going forward as a, as a fermenter. Obviously that's what it is. It's a, it's a, a ferment, a fermenting chamber. So, but then obviously with the gasket gone, I probably, I can't do that unless I can get the gasket fixed. Um, I'm not that proficient. It just what for me, it just won't go in. It's all buckled and, and beaten anyway. And it probably needs replacing completely. Um, but for me, I think the days of using the pointer as a brewing machine are probably done, um, sadly. And it's, it is sad because as I said a bit earlier, I, I did want to, I did want to like it. And I do like it. I like the, <laughs> I do quite like the aspect and the, the visual facade. It sits over quite nicely next to um, the other paperweight, the Crops Sub Pop Compact and my, and my PD. Obviously my PD is the, my, the more used of the beer machines at the moment. The, the Crops of Sub suffers probably similar to also with the pointer, so they 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 want you sign, trying to sign you up to um, their um, subscription service, which is all well and good, um, but I just it's really it is sad. I am um, I, I I like the visual. It sits over there quite nicely. It's got star put Star Wars stickers all over it because um, I'm obviously I'm a massive Star Wars Marvel that sort of fan, and it sits over there nicely. The the brewing dock, I don't think it sustained too much damage when I had to force it off. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know where, where where do I go with the pointer now? I'm probably nowhere because that gasket's broken on the, on the chamber handle. I know the that they, I know people were complaining that the chamber handle was, was locking as well and they couldn't get that off. And it's just a, a litany of problems. I'm hoping, I don't know, and I'm sure if Liam watches this video um, when he comes back from India, um, that he will address, I think Paul and Michelle um, Food and Beer Reviews have got um, one of these, uh, the new ones as well. So if they've addressed the issues with um, the the build quality, um, the the leaking, um, the carbonation port on the back, and the other bits and pieces that weren't quite right within this machine, hopefully there's a future for it. I know there's a whole group on Facebook that, that absolutely love it. Um, I'm not trying to shit all over the machine. I'm just saying for me, it just hasn't worked out. Um, there are too many things that have gone wrong. It's going to cost me money probably to to put, um, certainly get the gasket right. I've got um, a, a pills nut. I'm probably not going to use it. If someone wants it, message me and you can gratefully have it. Um, so, yeah, um, but I'm interested in what your guys' um, in, uh, takes are on the pointer. Have you had decent beer? Have you had any issues with the pointer? If they are, what are they? And um, have you got over them? Anybody got the new pointer too? Is it better than this? Does it? Does the hop? Is it, I think it's called the hop rocket. Is the hop rocket? Does that make a difference? Um, are the presses better? Are the beers better? Obviously, it's uh, still a work. It was um, was it a crowdfunder or a Kickstarter um, program um, funded thing originally? So it was a crowdfunded thing. Um, so getting off the ground. Like a fair play to them. They've done, they've done a, a fantastic job. It's got its brand. It's got a marketplace. Um, sadly, I just don't think it's for me. I think probably going forward, all grain brewing is going to be where I sort of naturally progress to. I would have liked to have done more with it, um, but I just lost faith. Lost faith in the um, the machine itself. But I know, and I think Barry from All the Beer and No Idea has done the same. In, in all honesty, I think he's given up on his. I think his was was leaking. Mine never leaked. I've got to be honest, but I had the problems of the beers just didn't come out of the quality I was except I was in, in um, expecting. The problem with the the um, thing locking, the gasket coming out. I can't get the bloody thing back in. And I think as an experiment for myself, it just didn't work for me. But I'm interested to hear if it's worked for you. So. 
it's, it's not this isn't a video designed for i'm just speaking as i as i see it i've got nothing written down apart from notes on dates of when videos came out etc i'm not trying to do a video that's actually slaughtering it i hope it hasn't come across as that i think i'm just trying to be honest on, on my thoughts on how i've got on with the pointer a year later and if it has a any room in my life or on the channel and i've got to be honest i don't think it does um so there you go um let me know your comments in the in the comments box i'm really interested to listen to the people who've got the pointer if you haven't got a pointer and you've got an opinion on it then then feel free let me know in the comments um below um and i'll, I'll, I'll read everything and i'll try and reply to as many as i can um so there's not i'm trying not to go out to actually just fucking hammer the machine because it doesn't do it any good i'm just trying to come to you at you with a honest um, opinion on, on my thoughts on the machine and how i've got on with it so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down there's a subscribe button if you like the under content and um, myself and wonder see you very soon have a good day just a small watching um the and editing the video back i um, just wanted to say actually that um if someone's interested in, in um home brewing this could well and it's obviously aimed at um beginners and not and people that are looking to get involved in home brewing i'm not saying that this isn't a decent way of doing it it just hasn't worked for me it um looking at the price of the pint of two that 149 pound it's too expensive for me if you can get a cheap pointer second hand um as a novice um, um beginner brewer that's looking at these things it might be worth a go just wanted to add that in there. <laughs> Thank you.